Hey, how are you, ye old North Forkers? Another gorgeous day this weekend. So another wonderful ride. Yeah. Go we'll stop by my old Brosis house. See if the kids are out playing. There they are. Let's go whip around. Hi! Huh? Yeah? You do have a puzzle on the back. Awesome. Do you know you're on YouTube? We're doing a puzzle. Awesome, what kind of a puzzle? You want a Nebraska puzzle? Oh. Grandpa can get it to daddy. Nebraska, huh? Yeah, I was glued together until I could push on the rest of it. This guy didn't get scared this time. <laughs> Is that a GoPro? Yeah. Yeah, one too. Can I Cool. Have... I have... Ah! Huh? Nope. Nope. What? It's a hunt. Ha! Huh. Okay, okay, how do you do it? Okay. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Make some the whole thing on the side of your helmet. It's a camera. What do you think it is? He's making YouTube YouTube videos. For what? He makes YouTube videos. Why do you make a loud noise? Right there? Huh? Make a loud noise. What do you mean make a loud noise? His motorcycle yeah. shut off. Oh, okay, okay. <sighs> make the loud noise so like here. Tyler. Guys, enough, enough, enough. <laughs> uh, Kenji. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you have to like twist that and make it a loud noise. Yeah. Do Can it. I? Yeah, sure. Go for it. That way, that way. That's I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how to ride this thing. It's off. <sighs> it's off. It's off, guys. Look, it's just like that twisted. <laughs> guys, they're off. <laughs> it's off. <laughs> you guys are smart. It's off. No dirt. It's just like no key. Oh, so Put the key back in. What Turn key? Turn it on. Turn it on. Yeah. What does that do? Did you guys play football? It doesn't do anything. Yeah. We no, it, it was a Mayan Haley against me, and I got it was two to zero. So that no, those three to zero, so they quit. So losers. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> we quit because we kept getting hurt. Can you more sack on? Yeah. Can you more sack on? Can you do that? No sky. Hmm. Push up one. What is it? What is it? Um. Doesn't do anything. It's off. Dang it. <gasps> Dang it. Where's that key at? I don't know. He's in his hands. Guys, it doesn't work. <laughs> what? You want me to leave? No! Okay, see ya. Oh, well, that was fun. Oh, I scared him away with a fart. That was awesome. <laughs> oh. Alright guys, it's time for the corny fact of the day. That delicious stuff you know of, called Spam, otherwise known as meat in a can, is actually made in Fremont, Nebraska. Yeah, here's your corny fact of the day. I've never tried Spam. I have no idea what it tastes like, but I know my dad likes it. So let me know if you guys like it. Maybe I'll try it. Just maybe. If you do like it, what's the best way you like it? So going back to October, we had some stories about ghosts and how my brother tricked me and all that crap. Well, oddly enough, I'm pretty sure I had a ghostly experience last night. Now I'm kind of a skeptic, so... Uh, you know, I can't confirm what actually happened. You know, for all I know, it could have been something that was misplaced that just slid down and fell. But what happened was, I was up late at night painting the basement, and this was at like 2 in the morning. I was, uh, I got done painting, I was just kind of sitting on the couch playing on my phone, getting ready to go to bed. And I heard something slide, it sounded like it slid, 
and then it fell on the floor. Now, like I said, I, I'm pretty skeptical when it comes to this stuff. I'm not saying there isn't anything out there, but I'm not necessarily 100% that, you know, all that stuff is true. So, I got up and I went to the kitchen to see what it was, and it there was a loaf of bread on the ground. And it, it wasn't on the ground before, but... Um, like I said, I could have put it somewhere that it slid off the table and fell on the ground. But if I remember correctly, I did not put it anywhere where I could have done that. So I don't know. You know, things happen. Whatever. I'm not sure. It is what it is. So there's a chance that I had a ghostly experience. You know, it could be there. Whatever. We're out of that season, but, you know... <laughs> That's not going to stop the spirits. Anywho. So how was your guys' weekend? Mine was pretty good. I get to sleep in a lot, which, you know, I enjoy doing. I did do the turkey bowl today, but it was different. Instead of the three-man football game that we normally play, we had my, all of my brother's kids involved except for, like, two. And we had the biggest game of... Turkey Bowl football in the history of the Turkey Bowl. Now I, again, lost. It was one to five, I think. As in one touchdown to five touchdowns. So, I mean, I lost pretty miserably. But it was good. It was fun. It was, you know, like I said, it was the biggest game of Turkey Bowl we've ever played. So it was a change of how we normally do those things, but it was a good change. I got all sweaty and nasty and I had to go shower and crap. No, I literally had to crap. A lot of food. <laughs> Some people just don't know how to use these roundabouts. So as previously mentioned, this will be the continuation of Dad Jokes. So this is Dad Jokes 3, I guess, or whatever. Why did the coffee file a police report? Because it got mugged. <laughs> how does a penguin build its house? It glues it together. <laughs> Why did the scarecrow win an award? because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> what do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? An irrelevant. <laughs> Why don't skeletons ever go trick-or-treating? Because they have no body to go with. <laughs> That's enough dad jokes for today. Oh, oh, no! Oh, Jesus. Almost did it. But they didn't. I'll give them props on that. But they sure as heck weren't paying attention. Oh, now they're behind me. It's a Mustang. They might run me over. I better be careful. I didn't see if they had any body stickers on their car. Oh, good. They turned. I'm safe. So if any of you follow college sports or know anything about Nebraska sports, you know that we, uh, we fired our head football coach recently. He just wasn't performing well. In my opinion, it was a good call, but I also don't follow sports that well. So, you know, it is what it is. He had a pretty bad season, I would say, for being the coach. I don't necessarily know if he got screwed, you know, from the players, but, you know, it seems like everybody's blaming the coach right now. So, I don't really know. I'm still a Huskers fan. Always will be. Pretty much because that's the only team I follow. <laughs> but I like Bo Pelini. I like his anger and his yelling and frustration. That was entertaining to watch. May not have been the best coaching style, but it, it showed some results. It just bothers me that they fired him when he had a good winning season. And then they hire this guy 
and we have a poor season. Whatever. Well, guys, I think I'm going to have to call this one now. Not really a short one, so yeah, I got some good footage. Anyway, I guess the boys are coming home a little earlier than expected, so I better get home and get the house ready. Anyway, it was fun riding with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought about the fact and the dad jokes. And again, if you have any dad jokes you want to throw down, go ahead and put them on in the comments. And if I like them, I'll go ahead and try them out in my next video. I told you guys that I would try out those dad jokes in a video. And I think I got one, maybe two dad jokes from some comments. And I forgot to put them in here. But I'll check back on that. And next time I do a video, I'll be sure to put them in. Alright guys, take it easy, stay safe, cheer!